Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and first things first, I'd like to wish all you fathers out there a happy Father's Day. Second thing is a user asked me about the problems that showed up when I was making the update for the A10M using Vert's firmware and friends. I found some answers and I saw there was a new update. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. So the first thing we need to do is find the firmware. I always type vertebrate Marlin. That takes me to the GitHub. And when you get there, you can look to see if there is a release. There is a release right now, and it is build 494. Once again, we download that to our downloads folder. I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to hit cancel. Now that we've got that file downloaded, we need to go find it. There is my 494, and I'm going to unzip it. I use 7-zip, and I'm going to choose Extract here, and boom, it makes a folder in that downloads that we can now use with Visual Studio Code. When you launch Visual Studio Code, uh, make sure you give it time to do all of its updates. Uh, they are always sending out new little pieces, uh, your little platforms that you add, like we added the PIO. That'll update. You'll notice I don't have the PIO home screen anymore. I just clicked a little checkbox, and that doesn't show up, but it all is still working. When we click File and choose Open Folder, we need to find where we put it. Remember, mine was in Downloads. There's 494, and then we stop here. We don't click on a file. We just click Select Folder, and it brings in the code that we need to play with. Always give it a little time to get where it wants, and then let's find the Marlin folder, and then we need to find the awesome start here that Vert created. So we are in Bug Fix 2 Plus, 494. We're going to change the machine name, but here's what I want to show you first. Uh, somebody asked about the problems that were showing up, and here Vert tells us you can just ignore them. Only the real errors matter. Notice over here it's got all the red lines where we haven't changed anything yet. Watch this. Real quickly, I'm going to change the name. I'm going to call this A10M, and this will be a 1, and then I'll put the HLMT after it. And then I'm going to scroll down. I am building A10Ms, so I'm leaving these alone. I have got all the stock drivers, so everything here I leave alone. I do need to change the mix. So watch this, all these red lines. If I define the mix and then click on another line, those start disappearing. Pop, 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 pop. I'm going to scroll down. I do not have any hardware mods. Do not have to worry about that. I don't have any probes. Notice all those red lines are gone already. Not going to mess with the heater accuracy or the double speed right now. Nothing all the way down to the optional settings. I do want power loss resume, even though it only works on the SD card. And I do want my run out. Everything else I'm going to leave alone. And right there, we are done. Now, keep an eye on your warnings and stuff. I do have two problems where it can't find this include, but they don't really matter. Vert told us that, so I'm going to hit the check mark, and I'm going to let it start building the code so we can create the hex file and actually send it to our machine. This does take a little while, so now you can just be patient and wait. All right, so you can see it is wrapping up the compiling, and right there is doing the building. It just saved the firmware.elf, and in a moment it'll do the firmware.x, and then boom, that's what it looks like when you get the awesome succeeded, which means you know you're good. If we go back to the word problem, it just has one multi-line comment it doesn't like, and that same include, and then we go back to terminal, and let's go find that hex file. When you see firmware hex, you need to control click it. That launches this, and then you can right-click and say Reveal in File Explorer. That little file is what we need to flash to our printer, so we can simply copy it. I'm going to go back to the Marlin folder, because that's where I like to place mine, and now I can hit Paste. At this point, I'm going to fire up the A10M, and let's actually flash this firmware. All right, so let's get in, Kira. I've got my A10M loaded. Let's go to Settings, Printer, and we want to Manage Printers. And then I want to update the firmware on the A10M, upload a custom firmware. Now remember, we stored this in D colon downloads or wherever you stored yours. There's my Marlin B94, and remember, I moved the file so that it would be easy to find. 
then when we click upload it will upload the firmware and we'll be able to get to work real quickly let's go back and check what vert wants us to do when we're finished he says once you're done flash it it's that simple uh, make sure you do a initialize of the EEPROM M502 and M500 to load the failsafe and store those settings. Lots of guides on YouTube and all that stuff if you need. And make sure you find Vert out there and give him a thumbs up for all the work he did with this firmware. Friends, it is almost done and I will start doing some tests on this. Friends, if you enjoyed the video or found it useful, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.